Hey everyone, this is Eric from Groomsman Central, and we are back again with another product review for Groomsman Gift Ideas. Today we're going to be talking about double-edged safety razors and why you should think about them as an out-of-the-box idea for your groomsmen. So I'll start by talking about how I first got into double-edged safety razors. Uh, back maybe 10 or 11 years ago when my brother was visiting me while I was living or stationed in Hawaii, uh, he came out there to visit and had his uh, had a double-edged razor and he was trying to sell me on why I should give it a shot and why it was better than just going with a, a Mach 3 or a, a Fusion or whatever was the newest thing from, from Gillette. So he uh, swapped out the blade, let me try uh, his razor with a, uh, with a clean blade on it. And um, along with also a uh, some some good shaving cream that was uh, that was applied with a brush as opposed to just the stuff out of a out of an aerosol can, and uh, took a little bit of a little bit of getting used to, and it takes a little bit of time to learn to be careful with a razor and make sure that you're not going to cut yourself uh, or do anything stupid with it. But once I got used to it, I realized that I was getting a much closer shave. Uh, with a lot less skin irritation and uh, um, you know, none of the none of the razor burn or any of those other factors that uh, I I was used to getting just as a as a course of uh, natural or normal shaving that I was doing with a a Gillette Mach three or whatever was available at that time. So since I first started using a safety razor, I've used one pretty much nonstop for the last 10 or 11 years, with the exception of, you know, if I'm traveling and uh, going on an airplane, apparently TSA doesn't like the fact that uh, these blades could easily be taken out and used as a weapon, uh, or that they think so anyway, uh, unlike a, a normal cartridge razor or a disposable razor. And... Um, you know, when I was uh, when I was deployed, or if I was out in the field, or something like that, I wouldn't carry this around just because it was a little bit too inconvenient to mess with a uh, a brush and shave cream and all that kind of stuff, as opposed to just using something that was simpler and and would still get the job done. But like I said, I've been using these things for about ten or eleven years, and I love them for a variety of reasons, which I'll talk about in the next bit. So there's a handful of reasons I would say you should consider a safety razor. First is the, like I said before, the quality of the shave. I feel like you get a much closer shave uh, with less irritation, less ingrown hairs, uh, less uh, less razor burn, all that kind of stuff than, than you would with a, a cheap uh, mass-produced razor. And um, obviously I don't have any first-hand experience with this, but from what I've gathered from a handful of other double-edged razor enthusiast is that if you are um, of a race or eth ethnicity that typically has problems with ingrown hairs or, or severe razor bump, razor burn, razor bumps uh, with shaving, uh, with shaving with a normal razor, that uh, a lot of times using one of these can can really solve those problems almost overnight for you and, and allow you to uh, allow you to shave without having to worry about all those, um, those skin problems. Uh, I think the other big factor that makes these a, a good plan for, or a good uh, good option for you, is the fact that um, you know if you if you buy a Gillette razor and buy their their Mach three or Mach five Fusion or, or whatever it is, they're basically operating under the model of they're they're giving the razor away, and then they're going to gouge you on the blades down the line. So if you've had to buy razor blades recently, you've probably noticed that you might pay thirteen or fifteen or or even more dollars for a pack of four or six razor blades that's that's only good for you know two to three weeks or maybe a month per blade. You get basically the exact opposite with one of these. So you buy a um, you buy a handle which or a razor or a razor with a with a handle and a, and a and a head on it, which you, know, you can get them as low as fifteen twenty dollars, uh, or you can go really fancy and get one that's ornate with marble and ivory and ebony inlaid uh, and you know all kinds of fancy, uh, fancy bells and whistles. It's a little, it, it's much nicer. You might, you might pay. I mean, if you wanted to, you could pay a hundred, two hundred dollars for a razor handle. But the upside is that uh, the blades themselves, even the ones that are really high quality blades made by people like, or made by brands like Mercure and some of the others, you can get the blades for no more than about ten or twenty cents a piece. And uh, the blades typically stay good for pretty, for pretty long. Um, 
I'm not, uh, I don't shave my whole face with them anymore, but you know, just using it on, on my neck and the, to get the beard off of, uh, off of here, the, uh, I, I can easily get a month or a month and a half out of one of these blades. And then when I do need to change it, it's just uh, as simple as taking off the top, like you see here, and taking off, uh, taking out the blade and popping in another one and, and uh, um, going from there. So you can get the blades, you can buy them off the off the shelf at a lot of grocery and drug stores, especially if it's a, a little bit higher end or more boutique type shop. Um, you can also look on look on Amazon or you can look on places like the original shave company uh, and order blades directly from them. And again, these blades are going to be better quality, they'll last longer, and um, they're going to be a lot cheaper than what you'd be paying for something from Gillette or Schick or uh, Dollar Shave Club even. So I mentioned the original shave company earlier in the um, uh, in this video. They were nice enough to send me a, uh, a razor uh, handle and um, some of their uh, shaving cream. So the handle for the razor itself, uh, what they do is at, at Original Shave Company is they sell razors from a bunch of different vendors. So this one in particular is made by Edwin Jagger, which is a uh, a pretty big name in in this um, in this market in this industry. But they also sell them from a, a bunch of other vendors. And and like I said earlier in the video, you can get these in just a basic steel uh, or you can go up to diamond plated and, and crystal uh, crystal embedded and everything like that if you want to go with a real fancy one. But in the case of this one, I just liked it because it was a um, uh, nice and thick handle on this Edwin Jagger one. Um, so it fits. It, it, it doesn't feel like you're holding just a tiny little cheap disposable razor in your hand. It feels it feels hefty. This thing weighs about weighs about four ounces, so it's it's substantial. Uh, and I just like the um, the the black uh, the, the the faux ebony and the uh, the nickel plating on it and everything like that. Um, so as I said, they set, they get the razors from they buy the razors from a handful of uh, manufacturers and have those available on their website. But the shaving cream itself is their own ingredients, their own blend. Um, so what you see with a shaving cream like this, and I, I should first mention, you know, with a, with a razor like this, you could still use just regular shaving cream or gel or whatever that you could buy off the counter or buy off the uh, off the shelves at any grocery or drugstore. But I would recommend looking into some of the options like this one. I'm trying to play with the camera here and get it in the right spot. This is the their signature shaving cream from Original Shave Company. Uh, with a cream like this or with a some of the ones that look sort of like cakes of soap or that, that come in jars and that are that are more solid. Regardless of how you use it, you, you can take something like this and just rub it on, on your face or on your beard with your fingers, but you're going to get a lot better results if you get a shaving brush, um, and the best ones are made of, you'll get some sort of a metal handle, metal or marble or wood handle on it, and the bristles are made of um, badger hair, uh, and that's not a joke, they're made of badger hair. Those are, um, that's the best method to apply uh, shaving soap or shaving cream to your face, and just like with the uh, um, just like with the razors, you can go very very cheap or very 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 expensive on the uh, the the price or the uh, the cost of your shave brush. There's you can get them that go all the way up to you know, hundred two hundred some dollars, and that's just based on um, I guess it's sort of like getting a cashmere sweater versus a regular wool sweater. Is that it's going to be just higher quality. Um, uh, badger fur bristles, and they're going to do a better job of building a lather, retaining water, uh, helping um, helping to get everything all um, lathered up the way you want it to be to, to shave. So, the uh, the the basic process with with this or with any other type of shave soap that you that you get, again, you can get a lot of other uh, different options of shave soap through Original Shave Company. You can also look on Amazon and find find stuff from. Colonel Conk is one that I've used before, or I've, you know, I've gotten some from a handful of different, just when I want to test out either different different blends or different scents or whatever. Um, there's a, a million options out there and uh, you can you can try around till you uh, you find something you like. But the, the gist of it is you take your shave brush, af after you get your face wet, uh, get you know, ideally with, with hot water or using a towel or a washcloth, 
um, with, with hot water on it to really soften up your skin, soften up your beard, open up your pores. You, uh, you brush the, uh, the shaving cream on by, you, you put a, get the, get the brush wet, put a little bit of shaving cream on the tip and then just, uh, on the tips of the, um, the hairs on the, on the shave brush and then just brush it all over your face, uh, to, to all your, all the spots that you want to shave, obviously. So if you're, if you're shaving every day for, uh, for work or for the military or something like that, obviously you wouldn't have all of this, but in my case, I just kind of take care of my neck and keep that from getting itchy. So you shave all that on, or you, you brush all the shaving cream on, and then with a razor, get it nice and wet and, and as hot as possible uh, with, with hot water. And the great thing about these is that you don't really have to do, you can get a very close shave without having to do two jobs or two tries at it. So a lot of times if I was trying to get a very, very smooth shave with a, a Gillette or a, a Schick or something like that, I would have to shave once with the grain and then wash everything off and then maybe use some aftershave or some, some pre-shave gel or something like that, and then shave again against the grain to get it really close and without doing any irritation. What I've found with using, um, using razors like this is that there, there is a little bit of benefit from using pre-shave oil or different, different lubricants and things like that prior to putting on the shaving cream. But what I've found is that a lot of times that's not even really necessary for me is that I'll just brush on the shaving cream and then I can shave against the grain on the, on the first go. Unless it, now if my hair has gotten, if my beard's gotten long and um, it can't be done in, in, in one, uh, in one pass, then I don't want to go against the grain on the first time. But if it's like this where I think I shaved yesterday, so if I shave again tomorrow or the next day, I could easily put the, the shaving cream on, go against the grain, get a nice close shave on my neck, uh, and not have to do a second run of it. And just um, you know, after, after each after each stroke up, wash or flip it over, do the other side, and then rinse the blade off, and it is all ready to go. Um, I can you you can use aftershave, but it's it's really it's really not necessary in most cases that that I've found that. You do a good job shaving with this the first time, and you don't have any skin irritations, no burn or anything like that, and you can just uh, put everything down and, and be done with it. So as I mentioned before, the upside with a razor and blade like this is that you're going to get a very close shave and minimal irritation. So think of it like when using a very, very sharp knife to cut something versus using one that's not as sharp and you get sort of a raggedy cut. With a, a sharp knife, you can just slice through something, in this case, your, your, your beard hair, uh, with, with minimal, uh, minimal effort, minimal irritation. Um, but the downside is you know, a sharp knife will cut your finger off. Uh, one of these, if you aren't paying attention to how you're using it, um, if you're running it over moles, if you're you know, if you're trying to shave this spot here without moving your Adam's apple to one side or the other before shaving it, and you're you're probably going to nick yourself. Nothing too, um, nothing. I mean, you're not going to do anything life threatening, but it will take a little bit of practice before you get to the point where you can use this thing with with complete confidence. And it, it, again, it's not like a, um, uh, a a real old school sling blade razor where you could really cut your head off if you weren't careful. Uh, you're, the, at worst, you're going to get some nicks with, with something like this, but you'll get better as you, um, as you use it more. And, uh, and one of the other upsides, upsides to this is something that I noticed when I first started using one back when I was in the Marine Corps even, was um, nobody wants to shave at 5 in the morning. Uh, nobody wants to do it while they're completely groggy, just woke up at 5 or 6 or, or whatever time in the morning. Um, what I found when I was in the when I was in the Marine Corps is this thing, this thing, a razor like this will shave closely enough that I could shave at ten thirty or eleven o'clock at night before I went to bed, and then get up in the morning and still feel my face, feel my feel my neck, and it felt like I had just shaved five minutes ago. So I could do my shaving at night when I was still somewhat awake and somewhat alert. Um, go to go to work the next day and and still be still be good through the entire work day now if you're somebody who has to shave twice a day you're probably not gonna be able to get away with that but um 
in my case, I, I, could, I could get a good shave at night, um, be careful with it so that I didn't cut myself or, uh, or anything like that. And, and then in the morning, all I had to do was roll out of bed and, and put on my PT gear and, and go into our, our company office. So how? So if you're looking for gifts for your groomsmen, Father's Day, or you just want to get something using a double-edged safety razor, I would suggest checking out sites like the Original Shave Company, uh, where you can pick up. You can either buy stuff a la carte, like you can buy a razor and some uh, a pack of blades and some uh, some shave cream, like their Original Shave Cream, uh, and, and go from there. Or they also have um, sort of starter shave kits that you could pick up either for yourself or as gifts where the, the, the kits will include, they'll basically bundle together all of this stuff. So you could say, you know, I want, I want this razor uh, handle and this set of blades and this type of shaving cream and this brush. And, you know, if you're getting shaved soap rather than, than something that's already in a self-contained container like this, you could get a, um, a mug to put the, uh, the, the shaved soap into, which you could whip it up into a lather. Um, some of them also include pre-shave and, and after-shave stuff. It's, it's basically only limited by sort of what your budget is and how fancy you're looking to go with things. So again, I would, I would recommend looking at Original Shave Company, and I'll put the link down in the, uh, uh, in the comments or, or down, in the, uh, down, down below this video. See what they've got to offer uh, and kind of go from there. Um, I'm not sure if their website offers personalization or custom engraving or anything like that, but what you could do easy enough if you're looking to actually have something nice and, and tangible to hand over to your groomsmen aside from just uh, the, the razor and the, and the shaving cream is you could take all of these things and, and put them into a uh, put them into a wood box that you then have engraved or you know, a wood box that they open up and has a card that says, thank you for being my groomsman or happy Father's Day or whatever the case is. Um, but, and, and also in a lot of cases, some vendors or um, if you find a local engraving shop, you could take, you could take this, a razor like this or um, a, a stand for, a stand that'll hold both the razor hanging like this along with a brush uh, beside of it, uh, besides it. You could do something like a, um, a wood or a metal stand that has engraving, either you know, put a monogram on it or put their name or, or put anything else that's memorable uh, as, a, as a gift to them. And uh, that'll make it uh, sort of an extra special personalized gift for the occasion. So that's the end of this video. If you've got any questions or comments, then please post them in the, in the um uh, down below this uh, this blog post or down below this Facebook post, and we will uh, respond. Um, but I, again, I suggest checking out Original Shave Company. I was a big fan of this this shaving cream. Um, I've used a lot of different uh, different creams, and um, this one was was uh, it was very good in terms of providing a smooth shave and uh, and minimal uh, minimal irritation, no no nicks and any, everything like that. As as long as I, I paid attention to what I was doing, so. Thank you and take care.